Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about access levels. I'm going to go over the different default access levels, how to edit access levels, add custom access levels, and how to add IP addresses to access your account from additional computers. Here we go. To reach the access levels page, we'll use the settings page and then click on access levels under employees on the left. We can think of access levels as permissions or roles that can be customized to restrict employees from viewing or editing certain features in Vigaro. Remember, the account owner will always have full access. There are five default access levels, and these should work for most businesses. The default access levels are Admin, Service Provider Commission, Manager or Supervisor, Service Provider Booth Renter, and Owner. You can disable a role by turning the active switch to off. You can switch it on again at any point in time. You cannot delete any of the default access levels. The edit icon allows you to view and edit how much access is given in each role. When you click on the edit button, under each section, you can see there are actions attached to view and modify buttons. View means the employee can access and look at specific features in the account, while Modify allows the employee to access and make changes to the account. Let's say that you no longer want any service providers to have the ability to undo a checkout, and that you'd rather that be only allowed by admins and managers. To take away the ability, we'll click the Edit next to Service Provider Commission. Find the option and click on the green Modify, turning off the ability. Click Save and the change will instantly take effect. Repeat this process for the Service Provider Booth Renter access level. Remember, when adding employees to the system, you will assign each one an access level. You can go back and change an employee's access level at any time. To do so, click on Employee Profiles on the left under Employees and find the employee you want to change. Click Profile under their picture and then click Password and Security. You will see Access Level with a drop-down menu where you can make the change. Once done, remember to click Save at the bottom. The change will take effect the next time the employee logs in. If you want to create your own Access Level, you can do so by clicking New Access Level, where you can name the Access Level, give it a description, and select all permissions and roles. Even though you can create your own Access Levels, we do feel strongly that the five defaults are great options for any business. Next to the access levels, you will see safe IP addresses. This is an excellent security feature that allows you to control where your Vigaro account can be accessed from. If you are the owner and would like to add your store manager's personal computer to the list, simply click Add IP Address, name the location, add the IP address, and click Save. You can always edit or delete safe IP addresses. Another quick setting you can adjust on the page is how long the system can sit idle before it logs a user out. This is a helpful security feature for when your system is left unattended. Let's say it's set to 3 minutes. You will be logged out after 3 minutes of inactivity. To change this setting, just click on the drop down box and choose your desired length of time. This video was all about managing access levels in Vigaro. If this video was helpful, be sure to like and comment below. Also, subscribe to the channel to pick up more tips and tricks about the software. Check out the description to follow our social media channels or to start a free trial of Vigaro today.